Hello and welcome to Wickersley Angling Centre. Um, you join us today with me, myself and uh, Mr Pickering again and today's uh, video is going to be about... This is a good one, this one. It's about braid. Right. Um, yeah, what's the problem with that? Well, it's, it's good, but it's also crap. What is? Braid. Yeah, no, no I, actually, I agree with that. Because I, I, I don't, I want to use nylon. You, you've, you've not used braid to the extent that you're using braid now. Oh, to, oh no, 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 no. 12 no, months, no, have no, you? No, you've no. always been a nylon man. I've, I've always been, apart from when you need it, and, and I think it's all down to the bite, the, the bites that you get. Because if I go on a venue where I know the bites are good, why do you need braid? Yeah, when you've got the, the niceness of uh, the su suppleness and the, uh, of, of nylon that stretches a little bit and a, a bit of give. But I only use braid when I know the bites are not so good. No. The simple reason is, on that, some place, I'll give you an example, Southfield, I always shut that and I never use braid at Southfield. I brought with the last person. Yeah, you, but, the, but the bites right. were good. Yeah. And they're not now, so yeah. even I've had to change to braid yeah. to get to see the bites. Yeah. When you go to Ireland and you're fishing with nylon, you'll not see a bite because a lot of the bites are on the drop. You cast it out, it's the bottom, and you're looking for a bite instant, and you don't see them on nylon, but on braid you get a, li a little indication so you can strike. So it's a, for me, it's about the bite. Because we, this, this is one of the reasons, or this is the reason we had uh, these come about, me and him having a debate online, because we got a bit heated, didn't we, in shop at one time with this, because you said that there's no wrong with this braid and there's no wrong with that. Yeah, but you're right. Yeah, but you're always supposed to be no, right, aren't you? Yeah, but I am right in this case. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not, because all you, you don't even know about Arthur stuff, what was on in angling anyway. So well, what about what true. about air temperatures and oh, um, and millibars and stuff like don't that? Don't even go there with that. See uh, that millibars. That, I mean, what a load of rubbish. Well, we'll see about that then. Anyway, what it was is I'm I'm in shop other week, and I'm talking to a customer, and he comes in shop, and we got on about feeder fishing and, and that because that's what we do mostly nowadays. And this gentleman were after a new braid, and he says I want the sinking braid. So I bust out laughing straight away, <laughs> and I went, well, when you find one, let me know, and I'm going to buy a million miles of it. What? That's the one. That, that's the one that sinks. I've told you a million times. Right. Well, here, I've got some on my spool. Right. That's it. Can I have it? Yeah. Of course you can. And it's the Cresta. Now, we had this conversation is it, is last it time. Is this light at Yolt? Or something it's from Cresta. <laughs> it's from Cresta. We haven't got a clue what it's called, and it's eight braid. You need eight braid. That's really important. That it is the eight braid. But the trouble is, you get lots of different different braids, and some of them are coated different to the to to others. Yeah. When I worked at Preston, I was sent this braid. So I'm going to tell you a story again. Right. right just for the people at home. Right? Go on. Um, I've heard it, but you can say it again because well, I'm. Well, I'll let you know when I've finished. Right. right. So he sent me this braid. From pressing or trying, I took it out and I went. I, I actually went, wow. Now, there's not a lot of things me and you at Tapper Trade go wow about. No, we've been here too It was that good. It was just almost like fishing with nylon. Yeah. It sank perfectly. It went under water. It sank dead easy. And I went, wow. And then when they sent me the one that the, the sold, I didn't think it would sink. Now, it was still all right. Don't get me wrong. It was still good. The one that they've got is still not bad. And maybe even still best not market apart from this one. But it wasn't that original stuff that I've got. Right. However, I, I went fishing one day and a friend of mine, which I won't name because he's sponsored by someone else. Right. And, and he had this braid and I went, oh, you're using Preston one, which is that colour. And he went, no, I'm using one from Cresta. And I went, all right. So I picked his other, I had a cut, I went, oh, that's nice. And I looked at it and it was that one. It was the original one. What, what you saw when you were What I saw, were at Preston, it was definitely that line. Now, they might say that that's the set, but I didn't think it was, even though it's still all right, the, the Preston one. And I, I ordered some straight away from Cresta, and I put it on, and it was that line. It was definitely that braid, sorry. And it just, it's, I think it's just fantastic. It's the only one I've got on my spools. Mm -hmm. it, it, you cast it out, it sinks perfectly. But when you hook a fish, it don't go, like when you hook it, it's like that. 
it, it's almost a bit like nylon. A bit more like a mono. It's weird because it doesn't stretch. It's quite weird how it works. And that is the definitely the line that I, that I tried on that sample. Well, with that, obviously, I, I always respect what he says. I know we have, we have a bit of banter, but if he says something to me, it's usually right. Um, so, obviously, I bought a spool of that, yeah. which is that one there, what's on my reel now. And to be fair, it's nice. Yeah. There's no wrong way. Apart from it is probably the dearest one on market, what I've used. But it's the best. But I have also got a spool with that one on, which is a Daiwa tournament, right? Which is an expensive one. And I've got one, that one is the one I've been using for the last 12 months now. And I, I, I do like that one. And one of the main reasons I like this one more than than others is because they do an 012 diameter. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing with them, they don't yeah, do an 012. Yeah, they don't do yeah. an 012, yeah. do they? It's okay. uh, but for, and I think for distance fishing, just the 012, yeah. being a little bit heavier, um, you don't seem to get as many no. wing knots with it. Oh no, if they did that in, a, in an 012, I'd use the 012 in it, but they yeah. just do not. But most, most people who use braid prefer 08 and 010. Yeah, I can't use that, I'll get uh, too uh, many uh, wing knots. Some, yeah. um, so, I've got three different lots of braid there, and you say that one is the best one. But I think, I love, I, the first time I ever used braid was at uh, Porth Reservoir. We went down on, yeah, a, yeah. In, in, on a winter match there. We uh, won what, um, um, Billy Knott run, a, a, a festival, I remember that, uh, yeah. a two day festival. And we went down to Porth and they said it was a lot of little skimmers. So, and, and it was just as braid was coming in. Yeah. Well, I chucked it out. I had two chucks. We had I to chuck rod up bank. <laughs> I, I'd never known all that. I couldn't use it. it um, but the rods weren't right in them days or anything like that. And I never used it then for years and years. But over the last, and then I had a big break from fishing because of work commitments and what have you. And then over the last, since I got back into fishing about six or seven years ago, uh, obviously the places that we go, like Southfield and places like that, you, you, you're looking for bikes of premium some days. Um, so I've started getting into my braids and what have you. Now, he says that one was the best one on market because it sunk. I've tried loads, Alan, and that's the best. That is a load of rubbish. I'm telling you, that that is the best. I've tried it them is, all. It is it's, a good braid. It's like fishing with nylon. No, it's not. They're all they're all as good as that. No, they're not. But when the air temperature and millibars aren't right, there's none of them sink, and it don't matter what you do to them, which one it is. None of them sink. That does. No, it don't. It does. I've got, I've been fishing on days with three rods set up like this, and not one of them sinks. Well, I can remember you telling me one day that your line won't sink and mine did. Well, and that were and that 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 were at Southfield. I use gallons of that. You don't have to with that. Washing up now. You should use this anyway. You, 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 you should wet your, your braid. That is a certainty. Especially at the beginning of sessions. That is, you know, yeah. as I said, we do have uh, a bit of banter, but there yeah, is some serious. When, when you start, when you start fishing, you must either put some washing up liquid on your braid before you cast out, or make sure you've poured a bucket of water but, over your spools. But with that, you've only got to wet it. You haven't got to put that on. But so you're saving your money as well. No, it ain't because no, it's you've rubbish. You've got to put that on. Washing up. None of them sink. That does. I'm no. telling you. Once, you the, once it, it gets over 105, 110 millibars, <sighs> none of them sink. The oh, crap. Oh, 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 oh. And it don't matter how much you do it. You put mono on, it sinks like a brick. Yeah. You put that on, you put that on, you put that, that on, none of them You need sink. to retry that, but that you don't want washing up liquid, just just sink it water, just spray it. But you but must I'm gonna answer your question as well that you just come up with, which is a great point which you brought and I've never even thought about this, so thank you for that. When you first started using braid and you wanted to chuck it, that's exactly our hour. And you know what the difference was? You've got to learn how to cast it differently. Yeah. And what I mean by that is I couldn't make it work when I first started it when I went back to Ireland. And I was doing my head in, I couldn't make it work. And then one day it clicked. And when you fish with nylon, when you cast out and you're gonna break, you seem to break like like almost three quarters because the stretch at line brings it down. Right. Because there's no stretch at line, you've almost got to stop it seven eighths of the way there, just before it hits the water. Right. And that's the difference in the cast, and that's why I couldn't make it. Because I was chucking out, stopping it like nylon and it was coming back and I was tangled up <laughs> and you can imagine what I was like it was, it was, it was doing me head in, right and then uh, one day I, I just chucked out cast and it nearly watched and I stopped and it went plop 
and I caught a fish and I went, oh, that was different. And it, I was trying to stop it too soon because right. there's no stretch. And with nylon, you use the stretch and that's all it was. And you've got, with braid, you've almost got to stop it almost like seven eighths of the way before it, it hits the water. With, with nylon, you can do it three quarters. And that's all that it was. Right. And then what I just, one day I just went out, I went, it went, I went, oh, that was different. And I did it again and I've never had a problem since. Right. Yeah. So there's a say as well with. With braid, and this is uh, one thing that I learned from the cart lads next day, or all into milli bars and air oh, pressure God. and everything else about it. Oh, la, 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 when la, la, you la. put your braid on your spools, we used to, when we were fish with mono, we like, when you look at a spools face on, you can always see the mono coming right up to the lip. Like, you, we, like we've always been taught to yeah, put, yeah. To put to line on as reels. Yeah. With braid, all the cart lads have it further down the spools. Right. That's so when you, yeah. when you actually look at your spools f face on, you can't actually see any braid. Right. And the reason being is, A, because it's a lot thinner, you can still cast the distances. But what happens is, is when you, like you, you break and stop it, if you don't, like when you watch some anglers like Parco and that, when yeah, they're chucking, yeah. it's like chucking an house breaking in it. Yeah, no, matter, we, no matter what he chucks in, I have in a tinatic vance when I'm siding him. But when it hits the water, with mono, it being heavier and thicker, it usually just stops and, 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 and goes down. With braid, if you overfill your spools, you don't even look at it because you're not looking at your reel. Right, it's okay. still peeling oh, off right, okay. massively, and, yeah. it, and you won't believe how much peels off. Right. And that's when you get your wing knots and all your knots in it. Interesting, right, okay. And that is something I have picked up right, from the lads right. down on carp side. Right. Um, so oh, that's when, interesting, right. So if, if you are having problems with braid and you're getting knots in it and, and you're struggling with your casting, try not putting either A, as much braid on your spool, or B, take all your line off. Like on these uh, Shimano reels, what I've got, they're the... Um, uh, mini pit ones, but they actually come with a, a line reducer on them. So when I put the line reducer on, all I do is put 150 meters of braid on. So it only comes up just over two thirds of the mm. spool. There's a lot of space still like left that. on there. I like that too. That's a, and that's a and tip. ever since I've done that, I've never had any right. trouble. Right. And uh, and that is that is a tip that right. I I do believe and I use all right. the time. What one thing another thing about braid is when you first get it sometimes. I, what I like about this braid is it, it's supple, it's nice, and I th don't think it's got as much coating on. And some have too much coating on, so that they're a bit wiry, and you've got, almost got to wait for that because older braid is better than new braid yeah. every time. Every time it sink, it, it, it does sink it, better it, eventually. Eventually, it? What, what I think it's just the uh, the outer coating gets worn away, comes yeah. off, and it makes it better. In fact, twelve month old braid is usually better than brand new braid because you can but, leave it on your reels but, for. Yeah. For ages, can't you? But, but that's typical of me and him. We both do a lot of braid fishing and we both use different braids and we both swear by them. And uh, you won't get me to change from that probably ever now unless I come out with an 012 because I know that I'm still convinced that's the original one that I, I just think it's the best. And I've tried seven or eight and they're all all right. You can make them all yeah, work. It's they're not, all, it's not they're all good yeah. on the day. But that is, but they're also, me, is but the best. Also as well, when you if you are fishing with braid and, uh, and it... And it do, and it is floating on surface and as I said don't worry about it there's not if you've got a braid and it is on surface it's because of the air pressure is too high uh, as I said in, in on, and that is 100% fact from cart lads right. but don't let it worry you just let it yeah. snake about on surface you'll still get your bite you'll still get your bite so yeah. don't yeah. let that worry you so if it is floating don't worry about it there's no you can do about it and just keep using it and another tip i do with it as well is braid like you say it's like wine it matures with age yeah it does yeah um is that like me a bit like you yeah <laughs> <laughs> wish i could do that with fishing but it's not do not happen anyway every six months i rotate it yeah good call yeah just put it on another spool just yeah. put it on yeah. another spool yeah. and, and and keep and then you you get twice as long out of your yeah, braid good point, yeah. But it also helps it, because yeah. obviously you get with, with braid, you, there's a lot more friction on it and, and, yeah. and, and on your yeah. knots and that. Yeah. Which on another day I'm going to talk about a bit more about that. About ah, you've got one of the fancy knots on, haven't you? you? No, that's just my straight oh, No, no it, right. it's not a fancy knot, it's, it's a knot that works, but I won't say it were fancy. 
Well, just, to me, that's fancy. I do a loop and do half a blood knot to it. Yeah, that's what beginners do. Yeah, I know they do well. You know, <laughs> I'm a beginner. <laughs> but no, my, mine's just two bits of line together. It's called a green or not. A, a yeah, back to yeah, back no, That's no. all I, I use. I did that first time and I went like that. And I, <laughs> <laughs> you got to pull them together, you <laughs> don't know. I've never done it, I've never done it since. <laughs> now I've seen them and that, there's one on the back of these spools that are bright knots. It's Jesus a great, I, know, I, know. I like knots, I'm into knots, but I couldn't do that. All I do when I put a shocker, I do a, I do a, long, a, a long loop, like a two inch loop on my braid, so it lays flat, and then I just put it through, pass it around about five times, and uh, do half a blood knot on it. I've never had one problem with it. No? No, I've never had no. one problem. I, I just say, I, my knot I do use, um, you can't see it here because it is really thin, um, but it's just a, what they call a back-to-back -back grinner knot. It looks nice. And uh, and it's dead smooth, um, and and it just works for me. So, uh, you yeah. know, it's, it, again, it's not what, you don't have to always use just because he says that one's a good one. If it, you you use what you use. But they're all good braids, and, I, and most of these new ones now as well, um, the the make the nice as well because they don't uh, make any noise when they're coming through. Yeah, the big there's a, there's a big change. There's big changes in braid from me. I mean, the first lot used to. It's like like, like oh, a coffee grinder, isn't it? Like, when, when, yeah, like cheese grater coming, coming through the spool. But, but these now you don't now. get it now. No, no, because no. you don't know. Sometimes you have to ask, "Are you using braid, yeah. Armando?" Because yeah. if you're not catching, yeah. it's like the old scenario: what you're fishing with, what yeah. hooks you got on. And you go, "You got braid on?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't hear yeah. it anymore, yeah. so you don't know if they have all the answers. I mean, any day like this, there's not wrong probably with any of these but that one for me is well uh, you know I think it's awesome yeah but they're still all crap yeah yeah they are compared to nylon they are I agree <laughs>